April thanks for visiting uh, this is your reading for September the 30th this is your reading I'm not saying that very clearly am I um, September the 30th to October the 6th um, I still have a little bit of a cold cough thing it's going away it's better way better than it was if I cough my apologies <laughs> ahead of time just be aware um, earphone users I might cough I hope I don't I'll try not to um, and as I always ask you if you like this reading please like subscribe leave a comment if you'd like to um, I'm going to start you reading right now for lovely Libra so the first card you have your past uh, is uh, the four of swords so yeah obviously this man's resting he's lying there there's a little bit of stress still above him with these swords uh, when he wakes up, he's probably going to feel a lot better. There's this enlightenment in the corner with this uh, window. There is a big, heavy feeling. I'm actually feeling this heaviness, this general tiredness. Um, and there's also this kind of feeling of it doesn't quite fit. It's, it's like things are trying to fit or someone wants them to fit and they're not quite fitting. It's, like, it's almost like trying to fit two puzzle pieces together that aren't supposed to go together. It's very awkward. Um, it's a little bit like awkward blending. I don't know if you're in a blended family, but that word blending came up, so it might be that, that you're trying to do that. Um, I'm actually seeing a specific group of people um, and they're getting together and they're all kind of having to get used to a new setup or something like that. It does feel very awkward, um, I have to say, and I think you might have been making an effort to prevent this from being so awkward, but I don't think you could quite do that. So it was like some kind of gathering, some kind of get together, felt very awkward, everyone was all together talking, you're trying to make it all fit, and it wasn't quite working, that's what I'm getting. And you know, you do this sometimes, you try and fix things, you're always looking for harmony and balance, and you know, you can only do that within yourself, that's what you have to learn sometimes, you can't make everyone get along, you can't fix people and fix things, you know, you have to let things go sometimes. I'm getting a very strong feeling of that, you need to let some things go. Um, so I think I think this card showing me like when you're in the aftermath of that um, there was a get together it was all over it was very exhausting you're very tired and you're kind of going over everything in your mind um, and it was still kind of stressing you a little bit you're kind of going through everything with these swords hanging over his head so um, yeah I think there's always going to be a little bit of awkwardness around this group of people so you might have to just um, see these people separately maybe um, if this resonates because I don't think you know I think you've just got to think about yourself and your own anxiety levels you can't make everyone fit in you can't make it fit if it won't it's nice to try but if it won't happen it won't happen so you've just got to think about okay is this making me overly anxious do I need to have all these people all in one room? Maybe I can see these people on this time and these people at another time. Or maybe I can even avoid that if I'm not feeling up to it. You know, think about yourself, be self-preserving. Um, I think you might have been generally tired anyway. I'm seeing a lot of draining. I'm actually seeing a little bit of a money drain around you. I think something might have come up unexpectedly money-wise and I think there is a general money drain around you. But all these things are going to pass. Um, but what I'm seeing is you might be trying to control things a little bit too much. You know, you're not a controlling person, but I think you're a fixer. That's what I'm getting. So it's a bit hard for you to let go of things sometimes. You know, let things happen. Just think about just letting things happen. That's, that's what you've got to have in the back of your mind. These things are going to happen. I can't be in control of it. Just think about that. Um, so yeah, there's going to be a lot of action around you soon and, and the right people are going to support you. I think you're going to move forward in this action and you're only going to take the right people with you. So don't take, take anyone who makes you feel awkward around you. You don't want to feel that. There's no point in feeling that. It just wastes your time, makes you feel bad, takes your energy out of other things. You know, So try and align yourself with the right people because there's a lot of awkwardness around this. Okay, I hope that made sense. Um, the next card you have you passed is uh, the Page of Pentacles. I love this. See, if you look at this, 
things are definitely going to rise up, um, but you have to let go, you have to let the control go, and things are going to get better for you if you do that. Um, I'm getting this really strong feeling of, um, it's like, oh, right now my life's a project, you know, let's fix this up, let's fix this area, I have to improve that area, and all of that. And of course, you know, it, it's a good thing to want to improve your life, that's a fantastic thing, it's very good. But sometimes um, that feeling of struggle, um, it can make things go backwards um, because it can put these I have to words in your mind. It's like, I have to do this. I'm not good enough. I have to change. I have to do this. I'm mad at myself. I should be doing this. I'm very angry. Um, you have to look at it like this if this is resonating. You're good enough. You are absolutely good enough. You're just trying to improve on what you have. You're trying to improve on that good enough thing. So you're good enough, you're on a great level, you're fine. What you're trying to do is rise up to something that's even better than that. So it's good where you are, something else is even better. So you know, if you look at this page, he knows. He knows he has the potential to do something. He can see this coin, it's right in front of him. And you know, pentacles coins obviously represent stability, earth. But if you look at this one, it looks a little bit like a bubble to me. It looks as if it's going to fly out of his hands up in the air. And I think this is showing you that that's how you need to look at what um, you want to achieve. You know, set your goals, see them as light goals, things that are easy and light. They're an extension of you. They're bubbles and they float up and you can kind of float up with them and they lift you up higher than where you are. Where you are is fine. These are things, these goals are going to lift you up to somewhere even higher than that. Don't see them as things as things as things to kind of beat yourself up with. That's the opposite of how you have to look at this. That's what I'm seeing. That's how you're going to get this success by seeing it in that way, if that makes sense to you. Um, I just feel as if I have to say that because I'm feeling a lot of something's not right, something's not good enough, I'm a project, I have to fix this, I have to fix that, because I'm not good enough. No, you have to come from the level of I am good enough, what I'm trying to do is to add on to what I already have, in extensions of what I already have. Um, that's what I'm seeing there, so I hope that makes sense to someone. Okay, the last card you have you passed is the Five of Pentacles. Um, yeah, there's some kind of financial setback um, that you have had. Um, it's not going to last. It's absolutely not going to last. Um, you have a lot of energy. There's a lot of action ahead of you. So something's going to change that for you. Um, I'm seeing a lot of financial action, positive financial action coming up for you. I'm seeing positivity in love coming up for you as well. Um, so there's a lot of very good things coming up for you. But there's a, lead to, there's a need to let things go and just let things happen naturally. Um, I've been seeing that in a lot of these this week's readings. There are a lot of people um, this week who are sort of white knuckling through their lives and trying to control everything instead of just sitting back and enjoying the ride. Um, I know it can be difficult to do that. I know, um, especially if you're stressed and anxious. But I think that's the way forward for you. That's what I'm seeing all over this these past cards so far. Um, the other thing I'm seeing in this card is, if you look at the boy in this card, there's a bell around his neck. I don't know, you can't quite see that. I'll lift that up so you can see. There's a bell around his neck. So, um, you know, obviously he's in distress, he's in the cold, he's injured and all of that. But if you think about bells, they call out to people, but they don't use words, obviously. They make a noise and they're there to attract attention. That's what bells are for. Um, I think someone's thinking about you. I think they still are. I think they're missing you. Um, and I think they have regrets as well. They have regrets about something. I'm getting that as well. But they're not contacting you. It's almost like they're trying to reach out to you with their mind, if that makes sense. That's what this bell's saying to me. Um, it's like they'd love you to contact them. That's what they'd really like. They want you to contact them. Um, I think you know they'd feel really happy if you did that. The strange thing is that I'm seeing blocking, you know, someone's being shut out. Obviously, that's how these people in this card are feeling. Um, but I think they might have been the one who shut you out in some way. It's very strange. They shut you out or they blocked you, but they're waiting for you to talk to them. It's very strange. I mean, if someone blocked me, I wouldn't want to talk to them. So it makes no sense to me. But this is what I'm getting. 
um, there's a lot of backwards and forwards energy here as well. So, you know, maybe you had some kind of falling out with this person. Um, I'm getting a lot of anger coming from them as well. So maybe that was when they blocked you. I don't know, but there's anger coming from them. Not now, but there was in the past. Um, I think they know there's no way that you'd ever, ever, ever contact them now. It's like you're feeling, um, this is what you're feeling. There is no way, there's absolutely no way I'm going to crawl back to you. Because that's how it feels to you. It feels like if I contact them, it's me crawling back to them. And I will not ever do that. That's that's what I'm getting around that. Um, you know, they'd have to be the one who reaches out. And even then, um, I, I think there's very, very low um, possibility of you being interested in them. So that's what I'm getting. And I think they know that. And that's why they're feeling this anxiety and this angst around this. They feel locked out. They feel cold. Um, they feel sad. Um, they feel as if they want to reach out, um, but they're not doing that. that. That's what I'm getting in that card. Okay, the first card you have your present uh, is the Two of Wands. So, yeah, I just think with this person who's thinking about you, um, you didn't feel stable around them at all. Um, this person who's um, really, 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 really thinking about you. Um, yeah, I'm getting that very strongly in this one as well. Um, yeah, there was no stability. There's a lot of instability between you because you've got the page of pentacles where, um, you know, this coin, the stability, which um, that coin represents, it looks a little bit out of reach of the page and it's kind of floating away from him. And you've got this card as well, which can be about instability because the ones in this card um, need someone or something holding them up. They can't stand up by themselves. You know, the man's holding one and the other one's kind of bolted to a wall, so they can't stand up by themselves. They're in, unstable. So, and there's also this feeling of wanting to move forward. You know, I think at one time you wanted things to happen between you and this person, and uh, this is definitely a, an ex-love connection I'm seeing. Um, you couldn't move forward with them. You absolutely couldn't because it wasn't stable. That's what I'm getting. But um, yeah, you're not held back by this anymore, but that's just what I'm getting. Um, in the kind of background um, story of what was going on between you. Um, I think there might still be some kind of financial setbacks around you right now. Um, and I think maybe they came out of this connection, this past love connection, because it feels as if you ended up with less than what you came in with. That's that's what I'm getting. And, and this card's just telling you that no matter how you were feeling at that time, you're way better off now. You know, you have the world in front of you now. You have this beautiful view in front of you. So try and let that go as well. Um, I think it probably took you a while to realize this and I think you do realize that now, but um, that's just reminding you of that. Um, I think there might be someone around you now. There's love or something. It's building up emotionally. Uh, it's around you right now. That's what I'm seeing as well. Um, I think if you are reluctant to contact the sex, I can absolutely see why that is. Um, you know, for you, the future's forward. It's not backwards. And uh, there was just no stability um, in your background in what happened with this person. Just none. And I think you know that and you're moving forward now. Absolutely. Um, the next card you have your presence, um, the five of cups. Sorry, I keep on, it's my throat and I keep on kind of swallowing and, um, you know, I'm, I'm, all, I'm trying not to cough sometimes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so with the five of cups, I know this is a quite a, um, a sad card. Um, and yeah, I'm seeing this person in here as well. And I don't, I don't mean to keep on bringing this person up again. Um, but I keep on seeing this. So they are missing you, definitely, again. They're thinking about you. And look at this bridge here. So they definitely like to mend bridges between you, um, but they're not going to do it themselves. And they're doubtful as well. I think that's typical of this person, wanting to do something, but they're not doing it. They're not moving. And that's why you felt so unstable around them at the time. So they're still the same. So that's what this is showing you as well. Um, and I think they know logically that there's no kind of way that you're going to come forward to them. But, you know, their emotions aren't in line with their logical mind yet. That, that's what I'm getting there. Um, the other thing here is, okay, this is what I was seeing a little bit in the Page of Pentacles. There's an opportunity there for you. There's a turning point for you. That's what I'm seeing in this card. It's ahead of you. It's right there. It's going to be right in front of you at some time soon. Um, 
I think it might be in an area or maybe an industry or something where you've had some problems in the past or you might have felt as if you've failed in that industry. I'm seeing a past job or it might be an area of study where you stopped or you failed and it's related to this new opportunity. So I think your emotions have tried to lock away or put away how you felt about that and this thing's coming up and it's going to kind of open those feelings for you again. So it's not going to feel fantastic, but this is showing you that they're just feelings. You've got to get over that because this opportunity is really worth pursuing. So you've got to get over your old feelings around that to um, be able to do this thing. And and your I think your feelings, I think when this opportunity comes up, your feelings might say to you, oh, I want to avoid this. I don't like feeling like this. I'm going to avoid this thing. I don't want to do this. I don't want to even look at it or think it, think about this. Don't dismiss this thing. There's a lot of positivity around this. That's what my feeling is. Um, so if you do say yes to this, try to get over these old feelings. Just realize that they're just feelings. It has nothing to do with this new thing. They're not useful feelings. They're not helpful. I think they're holding you back. Um, they're not helping you to move forward and cross this bridge into this opportunity. There's a beautiful castle over the other side. It's absolutely beautiful, but you're still thinking about the old problems. That's what I'm getting. So think about this now, because I don't think this opportunity has come up now, or it might have, um, but you might be getting a bad feeling around this, and that's why. I don't think it's linked to this new thing. I think it's linked to your feelings about something that happened in your past that is similar, it's linked to it in some way. That's what I'm getting. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so the last card you have your presence, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely not going back to this person. This is showing me this again and again and again. You're very strong, much stronger than you used to be. You're up on this hill like this queen. You can see everything just like she can. You can see when things are coming and you're looking ahead. Um, and you're a lot freer than you are now. There are butterflies, birds, everything like that here. Um, and yeah, that's making me think of travel as well. So there's some kind of um, opportunity that might be this new thing. No, I don't think it is. I think it's something else. There's an opportunity to travel or go somewhere. And I think it's because of someone. It is linked to that work thing though. Um, it's a bit muddled. I'll try and explain this. It's all kind of linked in. Um, Someone wants you to come with them. Someone wants you to travel with them. Um, I'm seeing introductions. I think someone wants you to come and see someone else. That's that's what I'm seeing. They want to introduce you to someone. Um, now, it might be love around this. It might be a love connection or a potential love connection. It feels a little bit casual to me. It doesn't feel official. So this might be, yeah, this might be actually when this work opportunity comes up because I'm seeing conversations about work, uh, work topics, things like that. And obviously this queen has a sword up and that's because she's been hurt. So when this topic comes up about this thing, it's going to remind you of these old things. Your sword's going to go up and you're going to be like, no, I'm on guard. I don't want to go there. I don't want to think about that. So there are a lot of these old hurt feelings, bad memories. They're around this job thing. Once again, seeing the same thing again. Um, it might be something quite serious that happened to you, because I can tell you, oh, just take your old memories away and try to realize they're not connected to this new thing. But I think if it was something serious, because I'm thinking it might be now, um, it might be something like bullying. It might be something like you were fired under um, false pretenses or something that um, was really some kind of an injustice. It might be that, because you've got the justice card here as well. Um, so, yeah, it might be something quite serious because there's a lot of resistance here as well. Um, you don't want to repeat a feeling that you had before. That's I keep on getting that again and again. So obviously this is all your decision to make, but I'm not seeing the same problems repeating themselves in this new opportunity or this job or whatever this is. Um, this is something that's going to lead to a lot more freedom for you. Um, you know, there's birds here again, there's butterflies. Um, and I was seeing some financial issues that you were trying to get over as well in the Five of Pentacles. So this is also going to help you to get through that a little bit faster as well. It's going to replenish some of your money and help you in that area as well. So, you know, the Queen of Swords, she's a really no-nonsense, she's a non-emotional woman. Um, and I think the message you hear is that 
try as hard as you can not to see this opportunity through the window or the lens of your old emotions. I know it's hard, maybe you're going to have to do some extra work to try and get over those old feelings, um, but, but your feelings around that are going to have to change or you're going to have to realise they're just feelings and they're not anything to do with this new thing um, because this is a really good thing for you. That, that's what I'm seeing. I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, the first card you have for your future is uh, the sun. So yeah, look at this. This is interesting. Look at what's behind this child. There's a wall here. Now, if this is all making sense to you, what, what's in this reading, you've got this emotional wall and it's centered around a memory of this kind of feeling of failure. It might be something like, it might be a business that didn't work out, but it's around this industry or this thing. It's some kind of work thing. Um, and I think this was also linked to a really difficult time in your life as well. So maybe it's not just bringing up memories of this work thing. It might be that um, it's kind of opens up a whole box of old memories that you'd like to keep that closed. You know, maybe it's that. So, but if you can get through those emotions, if you can break through this wall, look at what's on the other side. You know, the sun, positivity, freedom, all of the positive things you can see in this card. Now, of course, nothing's going to be 100% fantastic for you all the time. That's impossible for anyone anywhere. Um, but you'll definitely be a lot more positive. You'll be moving toward positivity. You'll be feeling a lot better. And you'll be able to put all those old demons to rest if you can do this new thing. Because you'll have new memories of this thing now. You won't have that old thing anymore. Um, I'm getting trust issues around this as well. So yeah, I keep on seeing this. It might be that you worked for someone you didn't trust. There was something untrustworthy going on. And I think also in other areas of your life, while you went through this terrible time in your past, and it's a job related thing, but you had a lot of other problems around your life at that time as well. And you just don't want to go back there in your feelings. That's, that's what I keep on getting. But this is showing me that if you can get through this, um, things will be a lot better for you. You can get through this wall and break through this wall. And it's also shown me that this is a very trustworthy, straightforward opportunity. The people that you're working for, or whether this is a business or whatever this is, um, it's, it's honest. This is a white horse. So, um, you know, it's all about honesty, uh, trust, uh, you can trust this, innocence, all of that kind of thing. So, yeah, I don't want to repeat myself, but... Um, there's nothing wrong with this new thing. There is nothing wrong with this new opportunity. That's what I have to tell you there. So, okay, so the last, sorry, the next card you have, not the last card, for your future is uh, justice. So, okay, so this is interesting. I was seeing this in the Two of Wands. There's someone around you. Um, there's definitely something developing around you and this person. It's definitely a love connection. You're very well balanced. Um, that's what this card's about. Uh, I think they might be a bit louder than you sometimes. <laughs> they talk more than you, but um, I think there's a little bit of your past that might be impacting on this new love connection or this connection that you have. Um, and I think it might be something to do with this financial problem. Um, they're quite stable financially. They're quite financially stable. That's the impression I'm getting. It might be about your feelings. It might be like, oh, they can do this. They can buy this. They can have this lifestyle. I'm not quite there because I've had this financial problem. I'm trying to get over this. I'm doing my best, um, but I'm not quite where they are. You might be feeling like that. Um, you're going to get out of this. You're going to grow out of this, especially if you take up this new opportunity. That's going to help you. Um, but I don't think they're bothered by this. I don't think they are at all. Um, they're a very patient person. They're a very caring person, and they're well balanced with you. So I think that's reminding you not to feel like, oh, I'm not quite good enough. Oh, you know, I don't know where I am with this person. Just relax. Again, it's all through this reading. Just relax and go with things. Just relax and go with things, especially with this thing as well. Okay, so the last card you have for your future is the devil. Yes, ugly, horrible, old, evil. Yes. Everyone hates him. I hate looking at him. If I have him on the top of the deck, I always put him at the bottom or somewhere in the middle. I can't have him on the top looking at me. So that's how much I hate him. So, okay. So yeah, this is about this person who's thinking about you once again. Um, they're really struggling. They're really struggling. And this is going to go on for a while. They're going to struggle to get you out of their head. 
um, I think in the past when they originally shut you out or let you go, they were quite confident, you know, they were quite confident that you'd always come back, you know, it was like, oh, they're chained to me, like these poor people are chained, it's like, oh, they'll come back, they'll come back, they're a little bit arrogant, they were at one time, they're not now, um, they're going through a bit of a humbling time now, because they're realising that, um, this is what I'm seeing, this might sound a bit strange, but I'll tell you what I'm seeing, I'm seeing time, I'm seeing a clock, so time's kind of ticking away, it's like the days are going past, and it's like each day goes past, and they're realising, oh, they're not coming back, they're not going to talk to me, oh, a day's gone past, a week's gone past, a month's gone past, they're still not talking to me, because um, I think in the past you had these backwards and forwards things going on, and you might have been happy to talk to them, relieved even to talk to them after this backwards and forwards thing, but not now. You've totally over them now. No, you're not going back. And yeah, obviously with this devil, this can be about obsession. The strange thing is, I still can't see them contacting you. All this is going on in their mind, and I think the only thing that's going to stop these thoughts um, that are going around in their head is, once again, a time, because I keep on seeing clocks and time. So day after day is going past, and they're kind of feeling worse every day, they're being humbled by this, but time's going to get them out of this as well. As time goes on, it's like, okay, I'm getting better. It's just like anyone that has a heartbreak, but this is a little bit more than that. It's a little bit obsessive, but they're not doing anything. Um, I just need to tell you this, that, um, yeah, you're not reaching out there, not reaching out, I'm seeing that, which is really strange, but that's, you know, that's what I'm seeing. Um, I just need to tell you, you're not in danger. A lot of people see this devil card, and they hear the word obsession, and they think someone's going to stalk to them or do something terrible. I'm not seeing that happening here, so you are very, very safe. But yeah, I think this is generally a really good reading. The big message I'm getting in this whole reading is, um, you know, let go, let go and let things happen. That's what I'm seeing. So Libra, um, I hope this resonated. Uh, but as you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, uh, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like to. And thank you so much for watching.